All right, just got done at the gym. Got about 15 minutes here real quick to make breakfast. Honestly, I make the same exact breakfast every single morning for probably the last three, four, maybe five years. The downside is I do not cook lunch or dinner. So my diet outside of breakfast is not great. But the goal here long term, especially when I settle down, I don't have to travel as much is definitely to get a little bit better on the dieting side of things. But for now, with as much travel as I do do, at least I can eat healthy for breakfast. Now I will tell you something when it comes to owning your own business. Obviously you're not told when to wake up and my morning routine has probably been one of the uh, most consistent things across the basis when it comes to starting in real estate about six years ago. Now I have been a little bit more lenient on it as I've grown my business and been able to generate a little bit more passive income. Honestly, the last three to six months too, even more lenient because I've been dealing with an injury at the gym, which doesn't excite me to wake up in the morning, but finally getting hopefully over that. And today we're headed to what is the largest real estate conference in the entire country. We're going to be headed to Tom Ferry's summit here locally in Dallas, Texas. So uh, I'm going to be able to enjoy networking with a ton of people and seeing people that honestly, I only get to see once or maybe twice a year. So this year is going to be a little bit different than last. If you've been following my journey, when it comes to just the real estate sales side of things, I uh, had a whole bunch more people working for me and uh, growing my company last year. The tail end of last year, I decided to get rid of all of them. So again, being the one conference that you get to really mix and mingle with people, there's roughly going to be like five, six, seven thousand 7,000 real estate agents from all over the world here. Um, it's going to be a little bit different walking around with just uh, myself and my videographer versus a whole team of I think at the at the high end last year, I was at 11 different people, including agents and staff members. So uh, a little bit different feel this year, but I can tell you last year was a disaster when it came to trying to rely on others. Let's give Jeff Mays a giant round of applause and welcome to Tom X. <laughs> All right, we are halfway done with day one here. Uh, actually gonna be jumping in an Uber here real quick, headed out to lunch. Gonna be grabbing lunch with one of uh, my favorite people. She's down in the Waco, Texas area, about an hour and a half away from Dallas with her entire real estate team. Fortunately enough for her, the team route and uh, I guess building a team in general has gotten a little bit better than it has for me. But there goes our Uber driver who's now turning around. So I've been part of Tom Ferry for five years now. The first time I went was Summit of 2018. Signed up for coaching like on the spot and I've been with Tom Ferry ever since. So a lot of what you guys are gonna be experiencing here, um, uh, I would, you're not gonna be able to implement a hundred different things because you'll get overwhelmed and probably implement none of them. But uh, I would take a couple things back from what you do learn in the next couple days. But more than that, you'd be surprised who you may run into who could turn into a commission check down the road. So, deal flow, the money is everywhere. You guys, write that down. If you have deal flow, the money is everywhere. The money is always trying to find the deal flow. So, if you're finding the opportunities, which you should be doing every day, then you're never going to have a problem saying, "Hey, I got a great one. Here's what we're going to make: eighteen percent." So it's a little bit loud here. We are on break in the middle of our second day here at Tom Ferry Summit. But I do want to update you on a couple key aspects that have happened really in the last day and a half. 
So we just got done downstairs taking a group picture for Real Brokerage. Real Brokerage is the brokerage that I work for and have been for close to three years. Now the crazy part is about two years ago, we took the same picture in the same place at this event and it was only about 20 people. Now fast forward two years later, this brokerage has just absolutely exploded and we had, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred people here for this picture that we had to take today. It's just been crazy to see how much we have grown. Now I talk about this religiously and it's probably my favorite word. I talk about it again in a ton of my different videos, but leverage has already come to play here in the first day and a half at Tom Ferry Summit. Now, first things first, yesterday I met with a technically individual that I had never even met before. We had a conversation back in February about potentially joining coaching or Tom Ferry coaching. Now, I detailed my story and why I valued coaching and why I come to these events and the opportunity within coaching, but he never signed up. Now, fast forward to what is now August. He actually ran into me yesterday, mentioned that he had signed up for coaching, and because of the opportunity that I had back in February talking to him about coaching, I got a referral fee for him joining. So again, leverage within social media. He followed me on Instagram. Didn't really have much conversation from February to now, but now I've actually was fortunate enough to get paid out a referral fee from him signing up. Now, in addition to that though, this Tom Ferry organization and just really any large coaching organization has a tremendous amount of value within the network itself. So today I was actually connected with an agent that is not local in the Dallas area, but she's down in Houston. She's got a sister that lives up in Michigan that knows someone that's going to be moving to the Arlington, Texas area. Now, if you're local here, Arlington's only about 20, 25 minutes away from where I live. And she has now referred me a buyer that's essentially going to pay me anywhere from probably five to $8,000 in commission. So getting a referral fee yesterday for an individual signing up for coaching, plus this referral that I have now gotten after I met with her physically here at the summit, you can see the opportunity that these events certainly play out to be. But beyond even what has happened over the last day and a half, we've still got the rest of today's afternoon session, and then we've got all day tomorrow too. So I'm excited to see what the events and the networking opportunities I may have this evening, as well as pushing forward for tomorrow. Again, these events have been absolutely crucial for my business. Well, we have another set of plans that have changed. My intent was to uh, meet with this new client that I got referred to from a past client of mine. Uh, they're moving potentially from New York down to a suburb of Dallas. The intention was to vacate my entire evening and go show them a couple homes. Their price point is very healthy for our market, roughly about 1.2 to 1.6. Technically, again, I'm missing out on the Tom Ferry Summit, but that's the realm of real estate is you just never know what's gonna happen. And certainly if you've got clients that are only here today and are flying out at 5 p.m., I'm definitely going to rearrange whatever I can to get that client taken care of, see a few homes with uh, hopefully an offer coming maybe by the end of the week. Well, I have some good news and some bad news. We uh, just took about the last two hours showing three homes in Flower Mound, which again is kind of a nicer upper scale area in the suburb of Dallas, North Dallas. School districts there are tremendous. Showed three homes on a little bit of acreage. They want a little bit more land than what they have up in New York, a little bit more privacy. And I'll tell you right now, a whole lot more house, which was the issue with the first house. The first house was on the most amount of acreage, which we're not talking a significant amount of land here, just enough for privacy. It was on two acres, but the house itself was only about 3,800 square feet. Technically, they said their house in New York, which was about 1,000 square feet smaller, didn't even really feel that much bigger than their home in New York. So we moved on to the second house, which to be quite frank with you guys, was a house that they weren't even interested in really showing or seeing, but they figured, hey, let's, let's take a look at it anyways. And really, this is where having a good real estate agent could wind up either making you a ton of money or costing you a ton of money. Now, in this particular instance, my clients loved the home. It was about 6,000 square feet, so massive in terms of size, but we're going down from two acres down to one. But one of the biggest issues here was the listing agent didn't even take any pictures of the backyard, which the backyard backs up to an entire massive amount of land where people own just a handful of horses, where you're never going to run into an issue with families building in your backyard. 
but the view of horses really is never going to change. No one's gonna ever build that and that land's truly never gonna be sold. So that was not even showcased whatsoever on the market, on the listing itself from the realtor. Now, if I was listing that home, that would be something I would definitely showcase and highlight as far as one of the key aspects of the home. And lo and behold, the last house that we saw, it just needed a little bit too much work. So what we're gonna do over the next couple hours, probably next couple days, is find out if they wanna pursue an offer on that second house. And if they do, I can tell you it's been a tremendous week because again, this is how real estate is. You may be super, super slow one week, and before you know it, the next week, you just have a ton of referrals, a ton of past clients reaching out, and you are slammed busy. And again, these are people that I had expected potentially to get connected with, but certainly wasn't expecting to write a $1.4, $1.5 million offer really within 24 hours of getting connected with them. Well, we are headed back to the uh, essentially afternoon session of Tom Perry's Summit. It's probably one of my favorite real estate conferences. I go to maybe six or seven a year. There is one other that I really like within my brokerage, but this is more or less for uh, a majority of our coaching clients within Tom Ferry, as well as people that are potentially interested in coaching. And that's one of the biggest surprises I have in this industry is, I mean, if you go to any other professional industry, you're getting instructed by someone that knows what they're doing, you know, a coach for instance, or, you know, if you're in any kind of athletics, professional sports, they've got coaches as well. I'm surprised not more people in the industry actually go after and seek coaching. Uh, now I know this industry that we're in can be a lot of show, meaning people in our industry like to sh you know, showcase how successful they are, how easy this industry is how much money they make when in reality it's it's not really the case because there's so many realtors that fail but i'll tell you what coaching could certainly put people on the right trajectory to being successful but i may be a little bit biased because i mean coaching honestly is where it all began for me last thing we need to introduce their mom to a great real estate agent right now is the time to commit or recommit yourself to video whether you're a rookie a pro or even a veteran, because until you do, you're leaving a ton of money on the table and risking that somebody, maybe even the person sitting right next to you, finds roof before you. Well guys, we are officially done here at Tom Ferry Summit for 2023. Again, I've been part of Tom Ferry Coaching for the last five or six years. This is technically my fifth summit. I'm at the point now where I don't necessarily always stay in the conference room sitting down and listen to every single guest speaker. I kind of pick and choose who I sit and listen to. And times outside of that, I'm spending in the large kind of networking space that they have outside the conference area because truly, probably get once or maybe twice a year that I can meet with a lot of the agents that come to this event. There's roughly about six or 7,000 realtors that come from all over the country. And even beyond that, there are a ton of real estate agents that are specifically with my brokerage, real brokerage, that I love to meet face to face rather than just on a Zoom call. So I spend a lot of time networking with people I already know, networking with potentially new people, and even getting connected with people that follow me on social media that I haven't had necessarily the opportunity to meet. It's been a fun three days though. I've learned a lot, met a lot of new people, and also networked a ton with all the existing agents that I do know. And as always, I'm excited to be able to come back here next year. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit more vlog style into my life, a little bit more personal video day to day. I appreciate all the support. Make sure to like and subscribe, it really does help. And stay tuned for the next video.